Okay, today we're gonna design this remote controller case. Um, we're gonna draw in SolidWorks and after we will be transferring these files to the software Cura to be 3D printed in our Ender 3 Pro. First, I just grabbed the remote controller and took the three basic dimension, height, width, and the thickness. I took the thickness, included the buttons, uh, so I will have more gap to the sign. So first, I just opened the solid board. I will create a new assembly because I will be drawing their remote controller. And after, uh, with those dimensions, I will be creating the outer case. So first, I'm gonna change my units. Usually I work with inches, but uh, for small parts, I prefer working with millimeters. And I just draw initially a, a rectangle, click on smart dimensions, I'm putting my uh, width and my height. And then I will be extruding, click on features, and I will be extruding this uh, the total thickness which is 6.9 I'm adding some uh, fillets uh, to make more closer um, appearance how is our real controller after we have the controller we're gonna continue to design the case so I will be clicking insert a new part I will select the top plane and first we're gonna draw a rectangle. Uh, I wanna make my case flush on the top. So, so the remote is gonna be uh, exactly flush uh, with the top of the case. Uh, here I'm making some reference lines which will be uh, my thickness uh, of the case. I will put a thickness of probably about three millimeters as minimum. I don't want to go too low because as I recommended by 3D printing, uh, 1.2 millimeters is the minimum usually. Uh, so two mil, it will be really small. So I will go with three millimeters. I think it's not too big. Um, or too small but this will depend on you if you want to design a case for your remote control I want a gap of 2 mil so the remote control is gonna have a gap uh, between the, the size of the remote and the wall of, of 2 mil exactly and the total height I just designed to be flush Okay, if I'm designing a case and it's a box, I, I want to put a space so the people is able to grab it from the middle. So I'm designing here other rectangle. I just put a dimension and a half and I will make a little curvature to make it look more modern and also square. I think it's gonna look a little bulky if I design everything square. Okay, so this is gonna be pretty much my uh, general uh, design of the case. Now I will be making some extrusions to make um, this sketch as a solid. I will be extruding probably um, the same, um, just grabbing some reference. So. Uh, the important thing is I will have a total wall thickness of 3 millimeter. As I say, this is just a, a, a base of my design, but uh, you can change these dimensions. If you really don't have experience in SolidWorks, uh, I will recommend you uh, check my other tutorials, which I explain um, all these features uh, really easy step by step so you can understand okay so after I my case 
I wanna make it hollow. So I just gonna throw here um, another rectangle on the top and I'm gonna do an extrude cut. And the extrude cut, I'm gonna select the option. So it's gonna be pretty much a three mil offset uh, from the bottom surface. So I'm clicking here the contour, which is the inner rectangle, uh, putting the option offset from surface. And the surface I'm gonna select is uh, from the bottom. Uh, so I want three mil extruded cut from the bottom and this is a preview how will be my cutout and this is how it's gonna look one is built hopefully it's gonna be very accurate I'm just following here my 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 cut um, so people are able to access uh, with just the, uh, the fingers uh, pull it out the the remote control once it's in Okay, right now. I'm just gonna open the part because I have I had to parse the remote control of the case and I'm pretty much Isolating the the case so I can save it as a separate file. I will open my software Ultimaker Cura you can download this software for free just Google Cura software 3D printing and it will show up in Google. So this is my Cura software. I can open uh, my SolidWorks file from here. Uh, you have to install a plugin um, in, in your Cura that is able to open the files. Or you can simply export it as a STL file. When you export STL files, uh, there's gonna be an option uh, that how much resolution do you want I really put normal resolution which is fine uh, okay so here you're gonna have uh, different settings this will depend on your 3d printing machine what speed do you want so what kind of material I'm using PLA but this will depend solely on your machine how do you want this and this is uh, my overall seating uh, settings for for my machine i'm doing 200 degrees uh, the nozzle temperature and 70 70 degrees the bed temperature uh, here i'm not gonna show all this process but this took about eight hours to manufacture it's my first printing on my machine after it's done uh, I was happy but no 100% um, I, I think I should uh, make with more resolution on my part if you have any questions just leave me in the comments here you can see a little detail I put a double side tape in the back and this is the total result as you can see it's completely flush the dimensions were very accurate I hope you enjoyed this video Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.